Danny Haddock on the road. And we are very fortunate because we've been invited to the Old Plough in Wormston in Rutland, where their food is exquisite, homemade, but more importantly, locally sourced. Now oh, I'd like to introduce you to, to Chef Frank Mulally. So Frank, as we can see that we have all these wonderful ingredients, I'd like to learn a bit about you. So what was your inspiration to join this trade? Uh, basically it's just a fine food, um, just something decent to eat instead of going to local uh, the local fast food restaurants and nobody. We want to come out and have some fine food. Excellent. That's well that's also what I started because you can have food or you can have proper food. And of course I have seen your menu and even some of your foods and they are incredible. Yeah. So how long have you been in this trade for? Uh, roughly about five years now. Five years, so that's quite that's quite a fair time. So you probably have quite a good opinion on this trade as a whole. I have, yes. Yeah. So what will you say is important about a proper pub or even a restaurant? Oh, a proper restaurant is definitely you've got to have um, locally sourced food. Which is all fresh and straight away from it's there, it's lovely, it's on your plate. It's you just can't beat it. No, you can't. I have seen cases where, I can't name, where it's served fast and unfortunately it, it exits you as fast. Yeah. So, so, I understand that you'd like to show us a dish which is served by the, the old clown. Yes, yeah, sure. Uh, today we're going to show you how to make a uh, Scotch egg for uh, old ploughmans from scratch. Very nice. Okay. So, chef, get away. Right, today we have <coughs> we have our locally sourced uh, sausage meat, yeah. which has been prepared already. So, on the on the sausage meat, yes. are you using a rolling pin or is it being beaten out? Sorry, say that again. On the sausage meat, yes. is it being rolled out? It has been rolled out. Yes, it's rolled out. It's been rolled out. Yeah. So it's quite thick. Okay. Now this is where it normally goes wrong because it always <laughs> stuck together. It so always we, happens on film. We, yes. When we butter our eggs spoiled, we actually freeze them straight away in ice water. Yeah. And it stops them still cooking. Okay. So then we put yeah. the egg into the meat. Try and gently just bring the meat around the egg. Very nice indeed. Now if you heard that you need to make sure that your eggs are chilled yes. after they're cooked, otherwise they will continue to cook on the inside. They will. And there we go. Then all you do is wrap the meat oh, around the look egg. look at that. Fold it all beautifully oh, around. look at that. It nice. smells incredible. Beautiful. Now what we'll do next, it's already prepared, we okay. seasoned egg wash. Yeah. We'll place that in there. And why do you use Egg wash. We use egg wash for basically for the um, breadcrumbs to actually stick to the meat when it's actually cooking. So okay. no problem at all. We get that in there. Okay. Very nice. All over. And then we transfer it to the breadcrumbs. And what do you make your breadcrumbs out of? We actually use fresh bagels. <gasps> they are absolutely gorgeous. Oh, the taste is excellent. Very nice indeed. Yes. Now, if you don't mind how I ask, no. why? Do you use a bagel instead of bread? We've actually found when you do when you're grating a bagel, it just crumbles up absolutely lovely. Whereas bread, it's very soggy, it's damp, and you don't yes. get the same sort of texture at all. So it has that perfect consistency. It does. Yes, it does. Of its sticks. It does. Once we've done that, transfer it over to the. Just a sec. Okay, so now this is the, the business end. As you can see, they have a, a deep fat fryer. Yes. At what sort of temperature is this at? We've got it on 200 at the moment. 200, okay. Yes, that's fine. I mean, basically, we put it in there, deep fat fryer, for yeah. uh, three to four minutes. It's a lovely golden brown. Yeah. 
and then there's the same way in physical. And now I understand that you are extremely efficient and you have one all We do, made. we do. This is one I made about 20 minutes ago. Oh. And this is still lovely. Oh, and people, hot look and fresh. at that. It's so golden brown and it's, oh, it feels amazing. Yes. Right. Okay, just take that out. You want to go over to the table and we will place it up. Okay. So, what are the ingredients have you right. got? We've got today, we've got award winning locally sourced so pork who pies. Who makes your pork pies? They're an award winning company from Rutland. Rutland Pork uh, Company. Oh, very nice. They so, are. it's yep. quite local. It's all, all very local. And yes. fresh. Yes, very fresh. Very nice. Um, and cheeses. We have a brie and truffle. <gasps> Now you're talking in my language. Yeah, we have a nice little wedge of camembert. Camembert, oh, you cannot go wrong. <laughs> Our own Stilton. Stilton, it's great if you love old feet, but, yep. <laughs> but it still tastes nice. And you can't beat it, a good slab of cheddar. Well, in the past, I've always known that a fowlman has always known for having on a piece of either Stilton or a piece of cheddar. Yeah. And you actually feature those well, two, yeah, we do, and also fit we two do. as well. We do. We just like to give our customers uh, something more than what they just get somewhere else. So we just like to give more. It takes the pounds to a next. It level. does. It does. Yeah. Right. Uh, basically, what we're just going to do. I'm going to place it up now. We have nice slice of cheddar. You breathe which is tr right. truffle. Oh, beautiful, yeah. beautiful. That nice too bad. And a beautiful slab of stilton. And we have some hammer there, um, which nice. is beautiful. You can see I've spread that. It's I can, just meat. I can. Right. And we have some caper berries, beautiful caper berries. Very nice. Homemade. So, so, do you find that the caper, that the caper berries kind of bring that extra flavour? They do, very fresh flavour, mm. very fresh. Um, then we have our homemade pickle in Oh, so is that actually made on site? It is. Oh, very nice. We actually. Made I just it. need a quick smell. Yes, that's fine. If you could actually smell this. You may be as hungry as I am right now. There we have it. As I say, an award winning pork pie, which we will cut. Or where are we? Try the board. See how we've got that lovely presented. You can feel crumbly. Oh, that tasty looks incredible. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. So nice inside. Here we go. And then, oops, with a piece of the resistance. We have our lovely scotch egg, which has just been produced today. Yep. And we don't normally cut into it. Uh, we let the customer do that. But could we actually see you in... Absolutely. 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 Oh, you can see it's still nice and soft still inside. Lovely. Oh my god. It's still yogi. Now, this is how a scotch egg should look. Everybody's actually used to one which have got it which inside really, really dry, but you can tell it's homemade, it's fresh, it's, it's made on site because yeah. the inside's so soft, it's so moist, it looks incredible, chef. And to top it off, we have a um, oh. crusty bread. Beautiful. Now, to me, this is a plowman's. Everyone sees a plowman's as bread and cheese. This is going to the next level. You've got the bread. Got the piccalini, all these cheeses, got the scotch egg, and the pork pie, and then to top it all off, we have some lovely red mushroom. Uh, sorry, mustard. Micro. But that looks nice. Beautiful. Because there's all these purples and all these all these greens inside, which of course adds that extra look to it, which shows that they go that extra mile. Now. I'd love you to take a good look at this dish. You can see how it's meant to look. Now, I 
I really appreciate, Chef, is your time. Because no you have well. kindly given your time to show us a proper meal served at the Old Plough in Bronson in Rutland. And of course, that means that you do your signature almond. It looks amazing. Well, Chef, I really appreciate all of your time and thank you very much. Absolutely no problem. No problem at all.